A tinder box is a container made of wood or metal containing flint, fire steel, sulfur tipped matches, and tinder, used together to help kindle a fire. Tinder boxes fell out of general usage when friction matches were invented. History and use Throughout prehistoric Europe, flint and iron pyrites were struck against one another in order to create a spark for fire lighting. With development of iron ores melting in the Iron Age, the fire steel eventually replaced pyrites. This was simply a piece of carbon steel, which was usually wrought into a D shape, or an oval ring, so that it could be conveniently looped around two or three fingers for striking. The flint was sometimes chipped to provide a suitably sharp edge to obtain a spark and if necessary other hard stones, such as quartzite, chert or chalcedony could be substituted. The char cloth was fabric made from vegetable fiber which had previously been charred via pyrolysis giving it the low ignition temperature and slow burning characteristics suitable for use as tinder. Rotten wood, known as touchwood was also used, as well as a mado, which was a tinder prepared from fungus steeped in potassium nitrate and dried. In use the flint was struck in a vigorous downward motion against the steel, sending a shower of sparks into the tinder which was arranged in the bottom of the box. The sparks created very small embers as they fell onto the char cloth, the glow of which, with some gentle blowing, would be enough to ignite a sulfur-tipped wooden splint. The splint could then carried to a candle, often set in a holder on the top of the box, and finally the cloth would be extinguished by a damper to preserve it for further use. With skill, a fire could be started in under a minute, but at other times it took longer and occasionally a tiny pinch of gunpowder was added to encourage the process. When away from home small pocket tinder boxes were often carried sometimes set with a burning glass in the lid to light the tinder directly from the sun's rays. The poorer people working in the fields would obtain a light by simply striking a flint on the back of a knife onto a piece of touch paper that they carried in their pockets. The tinder pistol, based on the flint lock mechanism, was a more expensive alternative to the tinder box and was in use in middle and upper class homes in the 18th century. In the early 19th century a more efficient tinder box was invented with a rotating metal wheel to create the sparks and there were other more experimental devices available, such as the fire piston and the instantaneous light box. The need for sulfur-tipped matches created a small cottage industry and they were sold in the streets by match girls. In the 18th and early 19th century tinder boxes were in common use, but with the advent of John Walker's friction lights in 1827, where a match could be struck by drawing it from between two sheets of glass paper, tinder boxes quickly became obsolete. A book from 1881 notes that in 1834 a magazine editor had predicted that despite the advent of lucifers, the tinder box would continue to be in general use in the household, but that in fact, by the time of writing, the tinder box had become rare, expensive and was commonly seen only in museums of antiquities. Another book from 1889 describes such a tinder box, observing that the wear patterns on the flint were the same as those on ancient prehistoric flints in the collection. As metaphor, in conventional usage, the term tinder box refers to something that is so dry that it could catch on fire with the slightest provocation, perhaps even spontaneously like a forest fire. It is also used to describe a potentially volatile or violent situation. For instance, a prison in which there is unrest and the potential for a riot could be said to be a tinder box of violence. See also, Chuck Muck, Fire Striker. References External links, Methods of Making Fire, Oxford University.